All right, everyone. Hello, welcome. We are ripping off Preach Gaming today. Uh, I'm joined by Uter. Hello, Uter. Hello there. I'm playing Arms Warrior, and Uter is on the uh, Enhancement Shaman. So we're gonna go through a dungeon, see how it goes. I'm uh, I'm I'm trying out Necrolord, which is kind of interesting. It's it's the Conqueror's Banner, right? Two minute cooldown, give everyone a big chunk of mastery. Oh, this is a big pull. I'm popping that mastery, and I'm just going blade oh, yeah. in on top of this. You're playing Venthyr Shaman, right? Enhancement Shaman. Specifically. Oh yeah. <laughs> I press Chain Harvest, then things die. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we actually, this is our second take because uh, I didn't record it properly the first time. So we'll see how it goes. It's actually kind of harder than you would think, I, I think, to play through a dungeon. Uh, he missed, he missed his trap. Uh, it's kind of harder to play through, <laughs> through a dungeon than you would think. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm, how are you finding Enhancement Shaman? Let's, let's talk about Enhancement first, then I'll talk about Arms after. How, what are the strengths? What's it all about? It's really, really fun, first of all. I personally love the rework. Um, there's some people that hate it. You know, they want the old Maelstrom-based Enhancement back. Um, yeah. I quite like this here a lot. Um, and it's very strong AoE short cooldown burst. And I mean, like, very, very strong. Um, they buffed all shamans, chain lightning, by 30%. I'm pretty sure uh, this patch in 0.05, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they did. They were, um, that's cool. Enhancement chain lightning only hits three targets, but it also enhances your other abilities, so it just, it just flows really well. <laughs> the old enhancement enhancing abilities. Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is staying true to its name, because, I mean, you use Maelstrom to enhance your Chain Lightning or Lightning Bolt, or yeah. Chain Harvest even. Mm -hmm. And then your Chain Lightning enhances your... Well, by spending Maelstrom weapon, uh, stacks, you enhance your Frost Shock with the talent. And then, you know, by also enhancing your Frost Shock, you also enhance your Crash Lightning with Chain Lightning. It's really fun. It flows really well, and your crash lightning enhances your storm strike. So if yeah. you weave those abilities together really well, you know, it. Uh... Do we do we just nuke down the boss, or what do we do here? Nah, I think we go we kill the... the little guy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I I actually ranked enhancement as like, I think it was my favorite, uh, of the, of the melee specs. Or it was up there certainly from beta when I played it on beta really liked it. it was a big fan so it's good to see and it's just been buffed yeah interesting that's cool that's well, cool i mean the weakness is definitely sustained single target they're not the yeah. best in raid they do bring yeah. wind fury totem which depending on your raid comp can add a decent chunk of damage especially for arms warriors and like dks yeah. you know i guess the issue is more so that in raids are often oof, you're not Stacking uh, melee all that often, so yeah. buffing melee basic attacks isn't all that huge. Still, it's cool. All right, For, uh, I'm finding arms is pretty fun. I, I like it. It's sort of like a simple, straightforward. You know, just smash things hard. Uh, we had one player leave. Oh my! Oh rip! We lost the man. <laughs> we did. Was he the tank? No, no he's I was not. We're good. We're good. We'll, we'll do this just the two of us. But yeah, I find arm, arms is quite fun. Um, I, I'm really skeptical skeptical about the 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 covenant I'm with Necrolord for arms specifically because you know the Conqueror's Banner it's awesome boosting your team, but it's uh, it's a two minute cooldown right to give that mastery and then the arm CDs you're looking at like one and a half minutes for Blade Storm it doesn't sync up, Colossus Smash rip, Colossus Smash doesn't sync up, so that that definitely that feels a bit bad. Um, so I'm kind of curious to, to test it out in these dungeons and see how it actually plays. Like, okay, if we're delaying CDs a bit between packs, it's going to be fine. Or just enjoying buffing teammates is also a good thing. But is it worth it? I don't know. So it might be. It, it might be. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's certainly a fun spec. It's I, I, I like this spec. Simple but fun. Smashing those executes, always, always good. Uh, but yeah, I'm, go I'm going with them. Um, one one thing I find that's really weird with arms is that maybe it's different for Venthyr where you're spamming Condemn like at the start of a fight 
but definitely questing especially i have like a, a pvp talent that gives me more rage when i charge in and like i just can't i just can't spend i can't spend my uh my rage <laughs> i'm just rage capped all the time because you're running dreadnought which is like your top level you can see like right here i'm rage capped even though it sort of clips into my uh into my party frames but you're running dreadnought which makes overpower do this extra seismic wave of damage which hits an aoe it hits really hard and um i think also one of their conduits does actually boost up overpower as well which obviously i don't have yet but that makes overpower like a, a really high priority to cast and you've got two of them <laughs> so it's it doesn't cost any rage either so you end up having tons of rage uh, maybe i'm being enhanced here by wind fury as well as making me hit a bit more but like the amount of time you actually press doing slams and stuff is really low. So until you're in execute and you can start spending big chunks of rage, like even there in execute spamming, I, I couldn't actually dump the rage, <laughs> which is yeah. it's kind of weird. You kind of feel like you're supposed to be, you know, using up all your resources. Um, it, it, you feel like, man, you're, you're sat there spamming abilities, but you're stuck at 100 rage. You're like, man, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but that's just, that's just the way it works. It's kind of bizarre. That's why I'm a little bit worried about <laughs> with Enhancement, with the Doomwinds Legendary. You're gonna get yeah. a lot more Maelstrom Weapon stacks, and overcapping right. on those feels pretty bad. Yeah. Um, because obviously you don't like, want to waste any of those stacks to cast, you know, Lightning Bolts or Chain Lightnings. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, and like that's only a one minute cooldown as well, so like whenever you press your Wind Fury totem, you just get a guaranteed Wind Fury procs for like, well... 15 seconds or 12 seconds or something ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah is the so... range on Wind Fury Totem still quite short? Or... Um, I remember that was the thing. Well, the, the fight's short. It's 30 yards. Yeah, I, th I, I find 30 yards was a bit short. That was one of my only criticisms, really, of Enhancement. Back on the beta, I was like... You, you could feel like even within a fight that sometimes you could... Uh, which one are we going for? Empty? You could be stuck sort of feeling like you know that you have to recast it within a fight if you're moving like if you placed it on the yeah. wrong side of the miscaller platform you might have to recast it when you get over there it's like, oh, that kind of sucks yeah but. um i mean with doom wins that's kind of not really an issue because you recast it every minute anyway that's true but then again if you um, want to recast it to move it you're sort of screwed uh circle yes. i'm gonna pop the banner here here we go guys have a banner oh i'm popping raptor boys can we burst her down? Can we Chain do Harvest, it? Let's oh, go. we can. <sighs> Easy. <laughs> 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 oh, I get to replace. I was running some Azerite gear from, oh, I think, from the Darkshore Battlefront. Let's go. <laughs> Big upgrade. <laughs> um, that's cool, though. Yeah, it's cool. My, your damage there popping off. I actually yeah. did okay as well. A cool. Another thing that's definitely a big weakness of enhancement is, I mean, it's nice to have talent variety, but it's yeah. also not that nice to have your actual good AOE damage to be tied to a talent. Yeah. Um, which is the Hailstorm talent when you, you know, for every five stacks or five spending a five stack Maelstrom cast um, enhances your frost shock to hit additional targets and like stack damage. Yeah. Um, in single target or in most raid fights, you run Elemental Assault, which just makes your Storm Strike hit a little harder and generate guaranteed stacks of Maelstrom. Mm -hmm. um, like having that, I mean, it is a choice, I guess, um, but that can feel a little restrictive. Yeah, okay. I get that. That's one thing that's kind of weird with Priest is that you do have some fairly, you know, you really want to take those talents. I yeah, Searing Nightmare, that's one of those choices. It's like, well, yeah. Misery or Searing Nightmare. Like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you kind of want both of them. Exactly. <laughs> You're kind of jealous sometimes of the specs that... I, it, I guess it's the grass is always greener thing, where when you're on a spec that does have talent variety, you're like, oh man, but I want all these talents. I wish I could yeah. just have the cookie cutter, but then with the cookie cutter, you're like, man, this is boring. I, I want the variety. I'm going to Fleshcraft here, seeing this forest boys offline, actually. We, we are really undermanning this dungeon here today. I think he's the healer. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. On it's these, fine. These when the ones, mobs die immediately, they can't deal damage to you. <laughs> they just die so fast. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chain harvest. Though. Yeah, have another. That, that's such a satisfying ability. Yeah, so that's the Venthyr one. 
how much cooldown reduction do you get on it, like, at this current gear level? Is it alright, or...? Uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. I can use it about... Well, depending on how many targets I can actually hit. Like, a low target yeah. count, then... Oh, I am actually dying. Yeah, I'm, I'm running uh, Cleave, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, they, they changed this from the beta. They made it so much better. Oh, yeah, this is going to be kind of tough without a healer. Um, but yeah, now it sort of it has the same cooldown as your Mortal Strike does, uh, but they don't share a cooldown. Um, but it does consume the overpower procs. The overpower is buffing the, the damage of your, uh, of your Mortal Strikes. So you can spend those buffs on, in like multi-target, you can spend them on... Uh, on your cleave instead but it's just cool it does a good chunk of aoe damage it applies your deep wounds it just gives you some consistent aoe it's, it's pretty fun on the beta it used to replace sweeping strikes which was just awful <laughs> it was the worst yeah wait wasn't that the case for live as well and then warriors were still really angry about it they changed it in a hotfix i i i think they did change it late in the beta but i'm not 100 oh, okay. sure to be honest i think they did um but it was a great change. Replacing Sweeping Strikes, it just felt terrible. Um, now sweeping Strikes has its own issues. That's the other... What, the biggest thing I don't like about uh, arms, I have to say, is with Sweeping Strikes, it, it has a cast time. I'll, I'll show it here at the end. I'm not going to pop it during the fight. got to do as much damage as possible. But it has a big cast time. Like, uh, look at this. Like... You have to pop your weapon in the in the sky and and it doesn't mean while well, you're over capping on rage. Like, yeah, no, you're you, and you're already struggling to spend that rage, <laughs> and you got to do this pop your weapon in the sky. It's like why is that a thing? Um, <laughs> it's just it's just weird. I, I feel like it's an oversight because they changed that with with almost every other class like rogue blade flurry. They changed it because it used to be like that, and then they changed it for Shadowlands where when you press the button it does a big AOE attack. Or at least a medium AOE attack, so it feels like you're actually doing something. But yeah, I mean, I just feel like sweeping strikes, it just so noticeably gets in the way of the rotation. Yeah. <sighs> it's just it's bizarre. I'd, I'd rather have it, like, it could, it, they could just add an AOE component or bake it into cleave somehow or something. Like, there's stuff that they could do, but I don't know. I'm gonna just pop my weapon in the sky. I, it has a faster GCD, I think, or yeah, I think it has a faster GCD, but it's still clunky. It's still like, Okay, faster GCD means we know it's a problem. <laughs> Can we just like yeah. not have it? Okay, uh, so I just tried out the banner. Yeah. Actually, the buff stays on you as soon as you get it. Like it, I just it ran does, away yeah. from it. It, it stayed. Okay, good. Yeah. So I actually thought it would be on your nearest allies and it would update dynamically, but no. The banner, I just pop out the banner and then it's it buffs the two closest people plus the warrior themselves. It buffs yeah. them both for 15 seconds. Um, well, I mean, we do have two just, Boomkins on our raid, and if yeah. Axedine actually changes to Warrior, you can just intervene, yeah. pop a little a little, little, little banner, and uh, <laughs> charge back in. Yeah, man. Yeah, In the Warrior video I did with Axe um, on the channel in Protection, we were talking about that and, like, the specs it's best on. But, yeah, you can absolutely, like, on range, so, like, at the start of a fight, or you could even intervene. I could, like, intervene out to you, pop the banner, and charge back in. And it's yeah. going to give a huge boost, like if you pop it on like Boomkins or Fire Mages or anything like that. In fact, Rat Paladins apparently are, are the number one. So that was kind of cool. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. They just burst so hard that oh, apparently. That's interesting. Yeah, Kyrian Rat Paladins apparently were simming wow. the best <laughs> over like five minutes of, of Banner. So I was like, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah, there, there's lots of specs that will be wanting the Banner. Don't know if it's True. good for arms. <laughs> Don't know if it's worth it compared to just condemning no, stuff. No, I think the desync is just too big. Um, yeah. Con condemn yeah. just fits so well into the spec. You always get to use it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to try out a couple of the different confidence in this warrior, kind of bounce yeah. it around a bit. But yeah. Guys, yeah, quite... though. Thank you for watching. We could talk for ages about this. Oh, we true, should probably true. cut it short. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could do follow-up videos when we actually get to max level. We go in with like legendaries and stuff. That could be pretty cool because uh, I know that like warriors have been having a pretty rough time in Shadowlands and PVE, relatively low damage so far. An enhancement shaman is definitely that. It's that spicy off-meta pick don't see many of them so i'm very excited to see more stuff we might get you to record some footage next time and we can flip around properly rip off preach not this budget rip -off. <laughs> sure gotta properly yeah we could do some tour <laughs> together do some two points of view
Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Well, thank you. Let's pop a banner to end this. <laughs> Bang. And then channel flash. And, and a chain harvest. Beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.